draw a hippo like this or that. How about this one right here? That's right, we're gonna do this in 20 minutes. Come on, let me show you. Let's start off with this uh, hippo here. I've got three photos. We'll we'll see how we how we do with each one. But um, uh, as I approach something brand new, let me let me show you uh, a couple different ways that I like to. I'm I'm self aware of things that I'm thinking through my high, my mind. Um, first thing first thing uh, the process. We're gonna. Go through the process each time, and we're going to think of gesture, construction, and then that down to detail. Okay, it's the same same process I go through with drawing anything. This is in the back of my mind: gesture, construction, and then detail. Now, what are the what are the different elements that I use in order to accomplish this? Well, uh, I'm going to use uh, overlap, overlapping of forms. I'm going to consider the 3D space. All right. So we're going to think of of overlap. We're going to think of how they exist in a 3D space. Okay. And then the last thing we're going to look start looking at is texture. So with these, that's going to bring us into more the detail phase. All right. So these are our three processes, and then uh, looking at uh, how to actually um, how to actually implement them or to bring them about. All right. So we're going to keep repeating these things over and over again. So let's let's get into that. Okay, so gesture first. So all I'm going to do, is, I'm going to hold my pencil from the back. We are now turning into a pool of dangerous hippos. So please, sit still and don't rock the boat. Last week, they overturned six of our boats. But hey, only five of them were mine. Ha! Hey, Skipper, head on down there and hit that subscribe button. And while you're at it, you know what to do. Hit that thumbs up button. The thing with gestures, it just gives you something to begin to work with. All right, so you, all right, you're putting some lines on the page. You're starting to try and uh, get a feel for how something looks. And these lines start to be a scaffolding or, or the basis that we could build off of, all right? So there's some gesture. Let's, let's think about now some construction here and get our 3D angle. So I'm looking at this guy, and he is definitely leaning. You see that? He's leaning in this direction. Oh, that's too dark. He's leaning in this direction, all right? So we can... We could start off with getting the right angle, okay? Let's think of uh, overlap now because he's got this great, you know, he's got this great shape. So let's just think of this muzzle. Let's start off with this muzzle and make sure we position it right. Maybe an eye is over there. Just starting to add some ideas here. Of course, I'm using, uh, I'm going to, a lot of times when you're drawing, uh, figure drawing, we have this idea of landmarks. Landmarks on a page, and we use those to kind of bounce off of. So any... The most obvious landmarks would be like 
just a little indication of where the ear might be, where the eye might be, where the nose might be. And we draw those lightly as we're bringing this whole thing into view. All right, so landmarks. I'm also using overlap here and shape. And then also I have, I'm also thinking, just, just like when I draw portraits, I'm thinking of straight versus curve. These are all the things that are that are going in my head here. Okay, so let's get some, let's start get some more definition down here. When you're dealing with overlap, sometimes it's it can be really helpful to look at the form and think, okay, what's what's the volume that is closest to me in view? All right, so that might be his muzzle, and then then you might look at it and go, okay, what's the next thing in view? All right, so maybe it's maybe it's for, his forehead that's coming behind here. You see, maybe it. Maybe his eyes and his cheek coming back here. All right. His feet, I'm trying to establish where the ground, where they come in contact with the ground. All right. Let's try the next photo here. Okay, so again, we're gonna go with gesture. Construction. And then detail. Oops. And we achieve this by overlap. Shape. 3D. And 
in detail. All right, so let's look at this here. All right, so it's just really loose. Here we go. Looking for straight versus curve. What we're trying to do is get something on the page. I'm almost thinking of this as like in 3D space. I'm thinking of it as being uh, going back to a vanishing point. And, and how am I thinking that? Let me show you this. You know, if I'm going to assume those two teeth are parallel and these two teeth, so you could see right there, they're starting to converge. So I could use that as a measuring point. All right, let's think of construction and It's always difficult to get these wide open area. What you, what are you going to do with these wide open areas? So you really have to start to look a little bit closely and like, oh look, there's this there is this whole section here that sort of supports his eye. You see that? And then you've got this other area that's coming up and kind of is leading us to his ear. His ears in front of this back section of his head. Remember, don't judge yourself of what yours looks like. Anyone who ever gets good at drawing has to go through this process. Wherever you're at, there is no shortcuts. I had a, <clears throat> an instructor once. His name was Glenn Villapu. I think he's still alive. I'm almost sure he is. But I would watch him draw, and he just did it with such fluidness. I seriously thought, man, I'd never be able to do that. But you do over time, and you don't even realize it as you... You start to pick up those same ways that he's 
expressing his line. It really does make a difference. So try and draw, draw from your shoulder and your elbow. Make those nice fluid lines. Okay. Let's jump onto our next picture here. All right, look at that cutie. Okay, let's start off with the shape. Let's start off with a shape for our gesture and just, you could even, you don't have to make it round, you could just use straight lines, okay? We, we can make it a little bit more round a little bit later, but for right now, let's just, let's get this mom, all we're trying to do is get a shape that would encase this mom. And then let's just get a shape that would help us with this little calf. Okay, now with that with that shape established, let's kind of guess about like if we drew a line that would go across the eyes of that mom, you see? Line might be a little bit low, that's okay though. And it may be a line that would go across her nostrils. Maybe a line that would go across where her ears might be. <clears throat> and then maybe a center line down the center of her head. Now let's do the same for the baby, but use use the landmarks that we've kind of established for the mom. So look at where her nostrils, I've drew, drawn these as a basis for the nostrils there. So the baby's nostrils are going to be about right next to it. And then its eyes maybe are going to be along that line. And then its ears are going to be along that line. Okay, let's put a let's draw a mouth or the mouth area of this mother hippo and look be careful before you do it because this is we're going to go why we want to make sure that those nostrils are are toward the right of it. Side of the mother's head is has a little bit of a straight line there. It might be too big, but we can come back and adjust it. Okay, look at this baby here. The left side of his head is, has a similar straight kind of feel. There is his muscle, his muzzle. All right, let's let's come in then and try and like hone in with this side of this the overall shape of this uh, mother hippopotamus is, so you can kind of see where I'm going with that. It's the kind of the 
uh, the collar the collar area all right and I can smooth out the back end just there a little bit all right there's little babies coming around here like this Let's get some uh, feet here, and we're just going to kind of do it by shape. And I'm looking carefully where I get these shapes in, okay? All right, let's put some of these features in here and they will become our landmarks. Let's start with maybe this is the eye of the hippo is on the far right there. Okay, then the, the other eye is coming in maybe like this. The ear is going to be around up there. Looking to see where those noses go. Here's the basis of the muzzle. All right, let's work on this little baby here now. Get some landmarks in place. There is the muzzle. There's the nostrils. There's a an eye over here. An ear. All right, let's get these. This little guy has a foot here, it looks like. Mm, his other foot is back here. His... All right. And then the mom's. Body's back here. All right, now we can get into detail. So let's get the slit over their eye right there. Look at that, mine, mine isn't completely perfect here. I'm, I mean, my proportion is, is slightly off, and that's okay. It's no big deal.
thing is, you have to remember that as you are drawing something brand new, whether it's a hippopotamus or a, a human being or something, something you have not drawn before, there is this process that your brain is going to go through of like learning, learning that form. The more you draw something, the more you really start looking at it, the more you're going to see. Okay, in these uh, last moments here, I'm just going to quickly drop some tone. All right, I think that's going to do it. This is our our hippopotamus. So, thank you for watching. My name's Kurt. I'm a dad who draws. A dad who draws. <laughs>